Everyone has heard about ocean pollution, but do you know what it really means? Do you know that all humans are a big contributor to ocean pollution? There are so many things that can pollute the ocean, such as toxic chemicals from industrial plants, pesticides that run off from agricultural lands, and so much more. These are a few examples that not everyone may have control over. However, we do have control over how much waste we produce. Every time we use single-use plastic materials, we are creating more and more waste that is only adding to the problem of ocean pollution. Plastic is a synthetic human-made material that is used for various purposes. Every day, we use plastic for things like bags, cups, bottles, straws, and so much more. People prefer using plastic because they feel it is very convenient. You use it once and then you recycle it, right? But do you know what really happens to the plastic after you're done using it? We host several beach cleanups every year and every month we do a roadside cleanup so that our plastics, uh, once they become litter, have less chance of moving into natural communities or getting to the ocean. But the bottom line is always that the less waste we produce, the less decisions, fewer decisions we have to make about what to do with that waste. So rather than worry about uh, what kind of plastics are recyclable, better just to reduce all plastics. And there's when I interviewed Bruce Delgado, who is the mayor of Marina and a member on the board at the Monterey Regional Waste Management Department, I asked him what he felt the community needed to do as a whole to reduce the amount of waste we produce from plastic. We passed a plastic bag ordinance in the city of Marina, which should have been a no-brainer, but it actually took some effort to convince everybody that it was a good thing. And since then, we have a lot less uh, plastic bags in our community. So really, it's a personal choice about how to live a lifestyle that reduces plastics, because uh, if everyone lived a healthier lifestyle without plastics, we'd probably be better off in a lot of different ways, but there definitely would be less plastic in the environment. Most of the plastic that we use is not disposed of properly, and only about 20% of it is actually recycled. This causes it to get eaten by animals, contaminate our freshwater sources, and eventually end up in the ocean. Sometimes the wind blows trash over into storm drains, or birds flying around might pick it up as food. The problem with plastic is that it takes way too long to decompose. It can sometimes take up to a thousand years for just one plastic bag to decompose. The plastic floating around the ocean isn't able to biodegrade, and instead, it breaks down into smaller particles, which become part of the marine food chain. We have heard numerous upsetting stories of sea turtles, whales, and many other animals dying from consuming plastic. Another problem this brings up is that humans also consume fish, and if there is plastic floating around a fish's digestive system, it is most likely that we end up indirectly consuming some plastic as well. This is how it works. We throw plastic in the ocean. The plastic then breaks down into small parts. The fish accidentally eat the pieces of plastic. And we end up eating the fish. Along with polluting the ocean, plastic can easily pollute and contaminate our fresh water sources. Fresh water is the water that comes from lakes or reservoirs that we use for drinking, cleaning, farming, and sometimes even generating power. Out of all the water we have on this planet, it is a known fact that 97% of it is from the ocean, and about 3% of it is fresh water. This means we already have a very limited source, and if we allow materials such as plastic to contaminate them, we will be limiting our resources even further. I wanted to see how plastic pollution was affecting the marine life here in the Monterey Bay. To do this, I used a remotely operated vehicle to take some pictures and videos underwater. We are quite lucky that our water isn't too polluted by plastic or any other material, but that doesn't mean it's okay for us to use plastic. We still have to be cautious. Over the past few years, there has been an increase in using plastic for various reasons. Plastic has been a big problem to worldwide issues like ocean pollution that eventually lead to global warming. We often think that it is more convenient to use plastics, but there are so many easy alternatives. For example, the next time you go to your favorite smoothie or coffee shop, take your own metal straw. Carry a reusable bag with you when you go to get your groceries. You can even use a reusable container for your lunch instead of using a plastic bag. These are just a few options that may seem like a small step, but these small steps are exactly what we need to take in order to become better citizens of the planet and take care of the things Mother Nature has provided us with. So, the next time you think about using plastic, Take a moment to simply think about how one plastic cup or one plastic bag could be harming our environment.